Welcome to El Pass, the first ascension. Session 13 A Bruiser's Humanity. Now let's begin a tale of chaos. Hello and welcome. This is Nat Chaos, where we spend an hour and a half procrastinating, not going to sleep, and playing some DD. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and podcast. Then follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for updates and teasers. We recently released the stats for Bruiser's Tracker's Hand module, which he used uh, a couple of sessions ago. Um, we've also added a couple of in, um, statistics for um, just magical prosthetics and modules. Um, I was particularly inspired by the Battle Wheelchair, which was released on the internet a couple of weeks ago, and we wanted to add on um, to you know just supporting. Uh, people with disabilities and reflecting that in our own worlds. Um, so keep a lookout for the appearance of those um, prosthetics and maybe even the battle wheelchair in our campaign. Back to the show. Uh, quick recap. In the library, Wes talks to Zygon about the difficulty of moving on from the past, telling him to focus on the now. Consequently, Zygon and Bruiser teach the stray hyena child how to talk. As the rest of the party arrives in the library, they learn that the child's name is Agile. Having accomplished this, uh, they bring Agile back to the Camion Sanctum in order to keep him, Spade, and Wes protected from the demons and the malfunctioning robots. Uh, they then head to the Race United office to learn about the situation and get the reward. There, they meet uh, Lieutenant Olo, um, a turtle who has replaced the now dead Captain Romeo. He tells them of the plan to evacuate the city commanding the party to return the hammer artifact since it is their last resort. The party refuses, and Olo grows distrustful of them. Instead, they propose to help with the evacuation. Olo is reluctant at first, um, but he allows them to leave anyways since they have promised uh, the return uh, later on to help with the evacuation. Uh, he tells them instead that the malfunctioning warforged have all been sent to the factory. And that is where our story continues. At, at six o'clock, you're going down to the factory. Is it sunset? Oh, oh no! Wait, are they where at the factory? The I thought they were at the like, like the, where they were being kept at the yeah station. The are they at the station? The race United is just an office building. I don't know if they have. Are they? Is it just an office building? Wait, it's not the actual HQ. It's just an office building. There's, or there's were like, they actually like storing there's people there? There's like jail cells at the top, but he did mention that like. Did he mention the Warforge were going to be called? Um, he, yeah. He said that okay. we needed to go to where Bruiser was made such birth. Yeah. Do we know where that is? Uh, Bruiser, do you, can you just like ping that on GPS? Do you know what that is? Or should I go ask for directions? Affirmative. I can lead the way. Oh, perfect. Um, <laughs> that sounds great then. Um, I guess we just need to sneak out? Or should people just go back into them? We'll just yeah, walk okay, out. So just, yeah. We'll just yeah, walk out. Just now. Okay. Let's just not walk out at the same time, okay? Yeah. Yeah, we, we leave okay. like 30 seconds within each other. And it's kind of weird that Ali is walking yeah. out of a men's restroom, but that's not a point right now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't question it. Equal rights. Ali tucks her um, hair like under a cap and hopes nobody notices her shift dress, nice. necklace, earrings, flats. And Ali does the thing where she puts up a pony and puts it in the Yeah, and put it in the cap. <laughs> That's what she does. Hey, we don't we don't discriminate okay. here. Oh, we also don't have a car anymore, guys. Um, so walking. Wait, fine. how far is this? Walking. How far fine. is it? It would have taken like a thirty-minute drive. It's no, an hour, hour drive. At the coast. Okay, hour in drive. that case, we're going to the impound lot and we're gonna get a car. Oh, should we just ask for a car? Or Actually, do we have to go to the? I don't know how impound cars go. <laughs> Bruiser, transform into a car. We should definitely Go. ask for a car because if we yeah. get a, like a squad car, it'll probably be like there'll probably be. Oh, if we sure. do get betrayed, we'll be fucked. Yeah, yeah you know, um, a car fit enough, for ten. We have enough money now for a car, right? Okay. Why? I mean, why does do, this game suddenly just... turn into like freaking finances central? What happened? Yeah, no, thank you, Zach. Can we just get okay, a car um, from the so... impound lot? A car well, fit, I a can car just, fit for 10. We can just ask from the police, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. We the income of the police, we'll just, we'll just say that, like, it's needed for an investigation. Uh, one of them's going to have to drive you. 
Oh. <laughs> can I? Can we just ask uh, the lieutenant to see if they have any spare cars around? You know, for the investigation specifically. The lieutenant, or is the, that the same thing? The lieutenant comes yeah, back and sees the government someone. issued. Like the government issued car. So unless you want to be okay. responsible for whatever happens to the car. I feel Yusuf would be responsible for that sort of thing, right? Okay, well, so I also feel about... that Yusuf would be the only one responsible about yep. that sort of thing. So whatever, True. Happens, whatever, what happen, whatever happens to the car, we'll just blame on Yusuf. Yeah. Should we? Okay, Um, I'll go back to Lieutenant Olo. Like, he, he oh, oh, by the way, oh would we be able to, what's it called, uh, borrow a car for like heading over to there because I just realized that because we kind of like commandeered one during the whole incident and now we just returned it, we don't actually have a vehicle to actually go there. And it's kind of be kind of hard to actually bring our own Warforge all the way there, especially because they're so clunky and also just, you know, uh, yeah. As long as we have the hammer by tonight. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, um, tell, uh, tell Oh, oh, oh by the way, um, could we be able to maybe uh, help with that? Evacuation. Uh, we feel that this is such a big, important, like, I guess, aspect of what we've been doing too, that we want to make sure that the demons don't get a hold of it. You've already seen that we've been able to fend off some of the demons too before. I've also so seen one of you died could... because of it. He's back. You've seen that too. So, te technically, we're all still here. Um, and also, a big important thing is that Bruiser or our uh, Warforge here is the pretty much only one, or at least one of them that we know confirmed to isn't under the influence of said corruption. You've and had him check. there was a hmm? You've had him check. Oh yeah. By plot definitely. armor. Um, <laughs> well we've also been with him and we know that we can trust him. And if we can't have the hammer being wielded by anyone else that's a human and all the humans are, are going to be evacuating and we know the hammer's cursed, so Bruiser kind of creates loophole in that situation where they can wield it without having to actually wield it with a curse. Yes. We'll be all be there to be safe. So we just want to make sure everything runs smoothly so then everyone's safe, you know. It may take more than a day. How so? It's a matter? big city. Oh, true. That, well, that's fine. We'll be able to help out. Um, it's for the good of the city, right? The good of the people. It is your choice. Okay. Um, anyways. Also, don't trust uh, anyone. About anyone that car. Demon. Thank you very much. I know. <laughs> about that car. Um, where would we be able to get that? Uh, just it's... outside? Or what do I tell them? Do I need to get like a little paper or something for it? Or like, how does this work? Mm, goes into the cabinet. It's got one of the keys. Holds it out onto your hand and it goes. Trust is a two way thing. So it drops the keys in your hands. Goes back oh. to the desk and does his work. You know, just out of character, you, uh, just out of character, right? You watch Bruce's thing. And, yeah. Um, he would have realized that there should be more than two people. And I'm really glad that he didn't call it out. What do you mean, more than two people? You realize there are seven people there. Only two came back. From where? No, because Joker and uh, Yusuf are the ones who actually got a job originally at yeah. the very, very start. So, ah, it, yeah. Sense. Yeah. That's why we were in, in the city in the first place, because I have a job. Um, anyways, let's. Uh, uh, Yusuf is going to join the rest of the party, and I guess we're going to head over to wherever this car is, or the lots, or. Yes. <laughs> And also, he's just going to stare at the key so then maybe he can re replicate it later on, just in case. Okay. He's just, he's just walking there, but looking down at his hand. He's like, <laughs> I will remember this. All right. On to the factory. You drive to the factory. factory. Here, this can about... I watch Bruiser drive again? Just to <laughs> maybe <laughs> <Why>? learn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, Yusuf, you could just you could just ask Bruiser to teach you, right? Well, well I don't true, know about that. We're kind go. of driving you right even now. Could teach a child the alphabet. <laughs> I, if, if 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 
bruise, if I could cover Bruce's mouth, I would. And be like, shh, you yeah. don't need to remember that. You're capable of teaching. Do I need to roll something? Uh, yes, you do. What do I need to roll? Uh, just D100 or do you need like a perception? I need an intelligence. Too. Oh, intelligence. I like that. Bruiser is Nat announcing 20. everything that he's doing. Oh, okay. Uh, roll D, uh, D100. Okay. You know the way that he drives. I can learn to drive. Turn left. Turn right. Bruiser, we don't oh, need 53. Your... 53. Uh, yeah, just add that on to um, what you previously okay. had. Um, for I some reason, everyone's going to be Bruce so happy been... when when someone when someone can drive who isn't going to read the stupid little GPS noise. Every every time yeah. Bruce, every every time Bruce knocks something, seventy seven percent. Shut up! <laughs> so close. Um, but yeah, Bruiser for some it. reason has been inspired by Zygon's teaching way of teaching. Um, oh. I guess that helped. Um, <laughs> put, more that put more, more emotion into it. Wherever the factory, it's um, no longer work times. There's some light inside, uh, but not any commotion whatsoever. Wait, is there light around? Or like, what time There's of day is inside. it around? It is 7.30. Yeah. Alright, we sneak in through okay. the back. Um, I'm just gonna text Felix quickly. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Lex, is there anything that we should worry about when it comes to like weird, uh, warforged, uh, factories? I know you worked there for a little while. Just wondering if there's like any big boy traps or something. I know we're there for like legal reasons, but at the same time, like you never know. Also got us some money to pay taxes. We're fine. <laughs> we can pay our house. Wait, sorry. There's a cockroach, and I'm being very weary of it. Oh, there it is. Kill oh, it. No. Good. Kill it. Give me a second. It has to come Evacuate. In. Yes, I need no. to evacuate really quick. Use the hammer and just portal out of there. It's gone. Portal it out Onward. into another dimension. Oh, boy. I don't you like this. You can't do that. You'll get old. Well, that's true. <laughs> uh, anything that you need to worry about for Warforged? What, 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 can you elaborate on that? Well, I mean, like, uh, in the factory. Like, is there any, like, big fail-safes or anything? Or, like, something we can use? I don't know. Just anything to look out for? Or if nothing, we can just proceed? But, yeah. What if we just mm. try perceiving things? True. You could just go look at the room. What if we just looked at it and found well, stuff out about it? We all have our eyes closed during this conversation and now we finally open. <laughs> you guys can be looking too. I think Bruiser looks at the factory and you can see his like eye lights kind of like start flickering on and off. It's not like a it's not like a not like a it's not like a Morse code and it's not like Bruiser. a regular blinking. But Bruiser. every now and then he How looks at it. He, kind of, he kind of looks like he's buffering a little bit. As much as he can, because he's a robot and he can't show emotions on his face. Bruiser, and buffering stuff like in emotion. I'm trying, guys. Stop! Stop with the Morse code. Someone could be watching. How many entrances to this factory are there? There are two: the front entrance oh. and the back entrance. Okay. Okay. Oh. So basically, I what we should do. I rolled a for perception, just to kind of scope out the. Like the outside. Um. Well, it's definitely going to be more useful on the inside, but I don't want to retcon, so yeah, I guess the outside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the outside is as much as you remember it, um, except a bit more tarnished than it was. Obviously, less um, managed, less maintained. Tarnished as an old? I'm so dumb. As... I just forgot I have a familiar, guys. <laughs> tarnished Other as windows? In... Okay. Wait, wait. Can I just send Lois to any windows that we see Good. there? Good. Give me a second. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, like, you know what? I totally forgot Lois is alive. So, yeah. Hello, little owl. Thank you for contributing to our safety. Hey, at least, at least he has advantage on the site. Yeah. If it was just normal, Yusuf, I don't think I would. 
I'd have disadvantage actually. It's like seven thirty. It's like already nighttime. But if it's still like decent sunlight, maybe I don't know. It's, uh, it depends. It, by six, it was already sunset. So I'm assuming it's already sunset. Oh. Yeah. Then I'm guessing he has some sort of little nightlight with him just to be safe because he hates the dark. No, I'm dealing with something. Little keychain. It's a back to the game. Zach, tarnished as in old or tarnished as in damaged by something else? Old and rusted. Are there windows? Are there, there windows? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can we look through I'll the windows Lois first there. before there's sending there's Lois in so she doesn't get like. Oh, wait, is it like. My little, with my little dirty Boy, 20, <laughs> am I noticing anything um, like out of the ordinary from what I remember it? Or like, I assume like there were little are, can, signs can, that like the, the specific people that were there were there. Do I notice any of those signs? Does it seem like. Uh, um, there seems to be very recent. Um, foot traffic at the front. Um, you could assume that it was probably from all of the Warforged that were being taken back here for for, for repair. Uh, light, uh, more humanoid footprints um, towards the back. And okay. the door frame is where all of this light is um, coming from, whereas the front part, which has all of the windows, does not have any light in it. You, said, so there, unless... you said there are lights at the back? Yes, at the door frame specifically. Oh. Um, so unless Lois can see in the dark, it would not be anything. Senses uh, for an owl, dark vision, 20, 120 feet. Thank you, owl. Sorry. There's like a flying insect with like really long legs. Oh. Zach, why is that so- And today um, Zach is plagued by insects. <laughs> You yes. know, so, some, somebody cast Insect Plague, and it's not affecting Zach's area. I'll be fine. Um, I would be <laughs> crying if I was in your situation. I'm just saying that. I've been through worse. Um, there's just a line of Warforged. <laughs> You'd be um, crying. Like, right in front of you, like 20 feet from the day. Like, are they moving around? Are they just stable, um, like, just there? All turned off. None of them are activated. Some of them are not completely built yet. You can still see like the wooden frame without any of the armor on. Oh, um, I'll just I guess stop seeing through Lois's eyes and then just recount exactly what I saw to the rest of the group. <laughs> um, um, does Lois see anything else? Like anything at all that's moving? Um, I'll pop back in. Owl. 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 Okay. Does um, Lois see any moving things, or is it just dead or built, like half built Warforge? Also, are they Battle? Bruiser's model or different models? They oh. are Bruiser's model, yes. Okay. I'm just recounted this too, yeah. Um, anyway, so I think we could, it's just safe to go in then. Um, we're here on official business, so that's legal. Um, there's no one in there to threaten us so far as we know, so that's decent. It could, um, and it yeah. Could, it could be the back door is open, because there is light by the back door. And the front door We is... can check it. Again. Yeah. Um, as we're leaving, you know those like things that you can put on cars so then people can't steal them? Like the weird thing on the steering wheel that doesn't go past like a certain point? Can I like conjure one of those and just like okay. put it down? Okay, thank you. <laughs> you. You could you could also like mold earth the tires like you did with the Oh yeah, that's true. And I'll do that. <laughs> I'll just like cover the tires a little bit with dirt so it's a little are bit sunken in. Are we splitting the front front door back door? Should we split? Uh maybe we should stay together for this one on the back door. Okay, but I really love party split scenarios because then I send my Echo with one half and the real Bruiser with the other <laughs> half, and it just makes me laugh. We could do that if you really want to. I'm just saying. Um, how would we split the party then? Because uh, um, um, Bruiser splits in two. I can send Lois to the other group too, just so then I could have some sort of. Um, is it a large enough Bruiser. factory that if we went in from both sides, we wouldn't be able to like see each other? Yes. 
Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, probably never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then make let's sure that we're together then? Yeah, let's stay yeah, together. Yeah, let's, let's all just stick together. Okay. Um, See you then. Um, let's try the back door. Yeah. What are you doing to the back door? Is it locked? Uh, locked? We're, we're going to test the handle. Is it locked? You're just going to turn it? I, I, I grabbed yeah. the hand. I got the Wait. handle and turned it. It's not locked. That's right. Oh. I, I Shouldn't we it. enter through a window? I feel like entering through a window is much better. The last time we did this, Nate did it, and or The oh, last time yeah. Jokir and um, Catnaps did it, it also ended horribly. Yeah, so well, anything we do ends horribly. That's um, true. It, but, is the window like, what's it called, our level, or is it like above? It's above. You have to, the lowest has to fly up to it. Okay, okay. never so mind. So then maybe we'll we can through send a rope back. through it if we want to. Climb up, but then we'd have to fall. But then, yeah, um, yeah, and we have to break it. Shoulders. Yeah, I'm you can do to... that. it's fine. We'll just enter through the back. I'm, I'm gonna... sure we will be able to wait, kill anything. Yeah. I we just let... flesh breaker. So, can you? Oh, wait. Can we? It's called a uh, bruiser. Can you just freely create another echo? Y yes, but like maybe want... you want to open that with an. Maybe you want to open it with your echo, just in case it's trapped or anything. Too like late. That. I oh, I pushed oh. you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I pushed her and peeked my head in. For future references, maybe we can use the echo. Well, you, okay. all, you all would talk too long. I prefer not to die again, thank you very much. <laughs> well, I'll cast well, the, um, well, this time my trip. This, this time Zygon going in first, so maybe I'll die. <laughs> I'll cast Dancing Lights. Um, kind of just Bet. wave my wand. And then I, think okay. says, I think Bruiser says to Zygon, I enjoy calculated risks, but that was not calculated. Uh, so now we wait, have like reserve. four little glowing orbs around us as we go around. So we at least we have some form of light source for everyone. Wait, sorry. So was Echo and Zygon like at the door when this was happening? I'm, this is what I'm gonna assume. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Echo's behind okay. me. I I went through the door. Okay. Uh, as you enter, there is someone in the kitchen. Like, yes, oh. you stumble into the kitchen. Um, someone wearing um, a bit uh, fine clothes, but you can tell that they've been weathered. Um, um, uh, he has pale skin, green eyes, his blonde, um, almost white hair, his crop short. Um, looking about 54 years old, five feet four in height. Uh, stops, looks up from his cooking. Uh, Hello? Anybody and here? And he turns to the right, sees you and Bruiser. I uh, know, so he sees Zygon first and he goes, yeah, where is it? Yeah. And he turns to look. Sees Bruiser and goes, ah, you, what do you want? Oh, you seem grumpy. Is that a bad thing? No, that's actually a very good thing sometimes. Um, no, yeah. no, that's, that's my own stature. I don't like him. Out of character. I don't like him. Um, yeah. And I like kind of motion to the rest, like slowly come in on my one. Oh, um, I'm not okay. accepting gifts at this time. Uh, we're not uh, here as this guests. Is official business, say. I guess. And I like you we're just here to investigate the war forges. I like you um, to just to court. see the situation with it. Um, yeah, also, more of them. yeah. Sorry if this is a bit of a hassle. Um, it's just precaution, you know. Uh, I Sit think down. Bruiser, Zach, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Bruiser goes, emotion identified, Hans Phillips, resigned. Oh, that's perfectly right. Hello, Hans. Nice to meet you. Should we be worried about, like, Bruiser, do you know him? Like, what's this? Is this like a... No, he knows me thing? Only. Oh. Have, have a lot of, um... Warforge been here today recently? Oh yeah, working my ass off. Hey. What? Does this uh -huh. one need fixing as well? No, this one's perfectly fine. No. It's, it's That's fine. funny. That's very or, funny. Bruiser, do you want anything done to you? Or or did you like you kill, kill this guy's like child or something? Like, why is he so grumpy with you? I is like this, him. Is this an in-character question? I like him. Yeah. I'd imagine. 
What? Yeah. Yeah. This is an in character question. Why did she? Why did oh, yeah. she? I, I think Bruiser just goes unclear and refuses to provide any more information. And hands are Okay, silent buddy. Oh, um, okay. I wanna... um, Anyways, we need to interrogate the Warforged, so, like. If you could, like, show us what the can... defectives are. Yeah. Mm. There is no Warforge to interrogate. They have all been reset. And oh. they've got information, I guess. You need them. That would want... be nice, I guess. Uh, if, like, do you have any, like, idea of uh, maybe the causes of these uh, glitches? Or, like, what makes them go rampant? I'm bugging the code. Is it just a bug in the code, or is there any like big, maybe overarching kind of dangerous things we should be looking out for? Is, is it just really not told you anything? Nope. Uh, um, not really. Uh, well, I guess we never really thought to ask. Um, but robots have lives too, you know. We we know that, and we support them, but uh, mm, doesn't yeah. seem like it. What is it? Oh, Bruiser is, oh. would be a very good parent one. We would be a very good parent one day. And that's any pretty that he is, right? Like. Uh, I mean, his kid would be really fucking stupid because he wouldn't be able to teach him anything, but Shut he'd be a good parent. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, Bruiser. Um, sure. Little team but, huddle, guys. Wait, can I just little team huddle? Oh, oh. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, Little, little team I like that just does just not hands. care about like little the little random strangers. Wait, 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 <laughs> before, before the team huddle, do you need yeah, alcohol? Yes, yes. I've already got my own. <laughs> oh. Guys, can we trust him? Bruiser, is this the person we could trust? Like, should we start to learn more about like? I don't know, uh, the race united, and maybe if he's retired, like maybe we can learn things about it. Maybe he's not like necessarily affiliated with them, you know. Just can he be a reliable source of information for us to trust and confide in? Hans Phillips is trustworthy. Oh. Okay. I trust that. You are the factual person. Um sure. Okay. Just for proceeding on later on, I'm just wondering. Um Anyways, if you say we can trust him, can I divulge maybe the situation with the race united and us suspecting them, and if we should also like yeah. fake people? Yeah, and that's people true. Com- and people combusting, which, by the way, it might be the work of the demons. By the way, true. Maybe we should just ask him too. Maybe he might know some things about that. I don't. But think, don't, I don't reveal too much. I don't think the combustion is okay. part I'll of the war. Try not to. I'm going to drag, so... I think, Allie, and we're going to sweep the perimeter and check the entire factory. I want to come too. What are we doing? We're sweeping the factory. Um, I have a feeling that this is the next attack place. Okay. <laughs> well, on the bright um, side, if we get attacked, we have a bunch of Warforged. Yeah. Cool. Well, the Warforged could attack us. Yeah. It might turn on us. We'll see. We'll might see. might is key word right there. Oh, Can I bring Lois? Leave. You might want to. Oh, sure. I should know. Um, here. Yeah. Also, just in case, I mean, you might want to hide your badges. Uh, yes. Just that's in case, true. if they want to go rampant. Yeah. Already hidden. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Take Lois. If anything happens, just signal and I'll check it out. Um, but anyways, Hans. Um. We have a couple of things we've been investigating. Uh, we're not necessarily part of the Race United, but we're also kind of working with them. It's kind of a weird situation, but uh, there was a situation with like people combusting. Have you heard about anything like that? Like, I, I don't really know how to approach that situation really. Like people just kind of, ooh, and then there's like fire and it's like, oh no. Well, was there oil involved? I don't think so. The first no. time we encountered it was at an A12, and then I believe it might have also happened when we were investigating some sort of other building for, was it Legion? I don't remember exactly the organization, but they were doing some of the various stuff. Maybe check, check for I don't know, ashes, maybe try to identify exactly where that these might be elements good. is. Have you done any investigating? Um, investigating? DM. 
I guess from, not really. <laughs> really. Ends, from what the woman, I remember this. Um, from what the woman has told us, no one that we met forward with. Uh, yeah. Did she did she mention about any like spots of combustion or where it came from? Like, did it come from where the person was standing? Did she ever mentioned that? Um, she wasn't there. She didn't see. She didn't see, but she did come up from that room as well. Yeah, there's no person there when it's on fire. But did she so see? Bad. But did, she did. She didn't mention about any like um, source of where combustion uh, started. No human combustion. What's someone to ask? Okay. Okay. Um. Let's see. Also, do you know the whole situation with like the demons thing right now? You you should probably you like you're aware of that, right? It's like there's demons yeah. in the city, and like we need to get out of here. I don't know. Yeah. We we don't need to tell them everything, Yusuf. Well, I, I I know. Oh well, it's just well, uh, there are demons in the city. I'm not leaving. Uh, oh, die here. Is there any? Oh, I, I see. I can respect that, but at the same time, like it would might be valuable to leave, but like. Yeah. Anyways, um, oh, okay. What was I gonna say? That's a whole situation there that you just need to unpack with the whole staying here and dying with the city. Did I'm Captain, no did Captain Ramia ever visit today? Oh yeah. Uh, hey, mom. Okay. How about? Have you seen any big suspicious figures, or has anyone visited that seemed very suspicious, or maybe anything? Suspicious happening around not the not counting us, not counting not counting us, but yeah. I feel like Bruiser kind of starts wandering off throughout the course of this conversation. Yeah, that where makes he sense. Stopped paying attention, and he's just sort of kind of looking around. Um, um where did he go? He just maybe a little further in the factory, but he kind of he's he looks like he's looking for something or someone. Stuff's not there. Oh. Anyway. Can I, is there a can I, switch can here, I, by the way? Can I follow Bruiser? I'm gonna follow Bruiser. Well, I mean, as as Hans says that, uh, Bruiser turns around and says, um, what is her location? Do you think I would know? If I would know, I wouldn't be here, now would I? I think Bruiser is having a little bit of a problem being talked to like a person. Isn't this what you wanted? Or what all of you wanted? Just, just live? Where is she? Not with me, that's for sure. Talk with Estrada. She won't listen to me. Won't answer my calls. I think Bruiser just walks out the door. I think he walks out the door and he starts heading back to the car. I'm going to, oh. I'm going to follow Bruiser. Bruiser can't leave because of the tires. I'll, I'll follow Bruiser. Okay. He starts uh, Andy, like, how's the kitchen going? You know, I'm just vibing in the kitchen with Hans, our friends, um, maybe. Hans, is there a light switch here that we can help our friends with turning on the lights? If we investigate, or... they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. They, can, they can see in the dark. Well, can they? Can George? You... Oh, oh, aren't so aren't we scouting really the enjoying. factory right now? Aren't we not in the kitchen well, right now? I'm not all. Oh. You're, you're still in the kitchen. Gotcha. Um, but we split, uh, we, we split the three. There's kitchen, yeah, there's yeah. factory, and there's bruiser. Give me a second. I guess. Bruiser is a location. Andy, do you want to go into the factory? Because. I thought we can go together if you want. Okay, yeah, sure. What? Okay. The hands are still talking, but okay, you can leave, I guess. Um, oh wait, what was he saying? What was he saying? Well, it doesn't matter now. You lost. Oh. Wait, the uh, north like we'll you're, you're an alley. We'll I thought it was. Josh and Ali, I would need you to make a perception check. All right. Okay, so it's a uh, raw seven oh. plus. Not twenty. Oh, oh yes, Georgia. Oh, I'm four. I'm four. Oh, 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 I
Just eat him. Don't try to eat him. Oh, you're oh, not sure you eat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 24. Uh, okay. Hmm? So, uh, you're just walking around the perimeter of this place. Um, and off in the distance, you would have noticed um, one of the creatures that who was it? I think it was Zygon and Bruiser encountered. Maybe they would have described it to you at some point. One of the creatures Yeah. Oh, uh, the, uh, the, the imp or the skeleton. Oh, that's right. Yes, uh, the, the rotting corpse with like a head outside of its chest and arms like coming Ooh. out of it. One. Whoa. Um, oh, okay. You begin to observe there being at least eight of them off in the distance but you don't really remember there being more than eight of more than four of them um but there's eight now no. are they in the are they wait there's the, eight what skeletons skele yes basically demons. so we're we're like hallucinating we've like we're like seeing double either or, like or they can multiply apply. they also can multiply they had kids i told you guys they had kids they yeah. got busy i think i'm i think i'm i'm believing ariel here they had kids like bunnies <laughs> <laughs> like bunnies you know rotting skeletal demonic bunnies what Fine. let's go say lois, hi <laughs> lois is just gonna kind of what's it called uh Go a little closer to Allie, just kind of maybe go on your little shoulder, just kind of like hide so, behind your hair I think or something. Are ignore it's them the little owl. Starts, you have a little owl starts, on you. Starts oh, trying to dig wait, up the tire. Zach. Okay. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. I need you to make a strength check. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <Whoa-oh. laughs> that was a five. <laughs> Out of whatever system malfunction is happening to you right now, you do not conjure this trend to be able to just move this mount of earth, essentially. Am I having a system malfunction? Um, none of the... You're confused in a way that a robot would be confused. <laughs> I'm confused or in a way that a robot would be confused. Okay, got it. Bruiser. <laughs> Bruiser. Zach hopped, out. Zach hopped out of describing how a robot would be confused. Because he doesn't know. Where, I, where? Do you want me to talk about just code? Like, just screen? No, 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 don't, don't, don't do Don't do that. Yes. <laughs> um, trying to attach the right there, Mr. Robot. I need to find her. Well, you can't do it alone, or can you? <laughs> I am equipped with state of the art facility. I believe I can have a look. Yeah. Good luck with that. You can see how well you did against, you know, a demon. Are you really sure you want to go alone? No? I'll bring your newfound acquaintances or maybe even friends. And I'm not sitting in the back of the car. I'm not sitting, I'm leaning against the car. Wow, he's so cool. Wow. <laughs> um, Bruiser says, uh, I guess we gotta do some robot philosophy. Um, <laughs> death means nothing to a robot. Mm -hmm. Death doesn't answer my question, so. You don't want to bring us along? You know, you tried saving your life, you tried saving ours. I see there's a bit of humanity in you. I feel a lot of sexual tension right now. My dude, <laughs> my dude. <laughs> Going for the robot. No, thank you. No, thank you, Ali. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Sorry to ruin your moment, go on. <laughs> I think Bruiser stops what he's doing and he kind of stands up and he takes a little bit and then he kind of looks around and realizes that, hey, uh, there are some things here and they're not good things. And uh, I think he, I mean, 
I'm assuming somewhere between the, the the little door bit and the kitchen bit and whatever, he's unmanifested his echo, but I think he manifests it again. And he says, I can't have you all slowing me down, but I won't leave you to fight with them. You know? Joker walks over and hands all of them a bunch of holy water and then walks away again. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't have the intelligence right now to deal with this philosophical conversation. My and also, dude, I don't really know like the, my the dude. imagery of that. The imagery of that joke is like, ah, they're having a moment. Here, here, goodbye. <laughs> Everyone gets a holy water. I also, give one to the guy inside the kitchen. My dude, my dude, my <laughs> whole, holy my whole water. mace, holy water. my whole mace is made of holy water. Well, oh, you can man. throw this one. You can't throw your mace. I mean, true. You could. I could coat my I could coat my bolts with um, um, holy water. Wait, okay. why? Can we... Why? Why do you have no holy water? Because there are skeletons coming. Wait. Oh, do I, do would we, you be did, know that too? Did we notice that, Dio? Yeah, yeah I, think uh, I guess Lois would that. inform me. Yeah. Did we notice oh. that in the midst of our? Conversation. Andy, there's apparently some form of imps around what? as we investigate with our glowing orbs around us. Oh god, uh, where? I apparently Joker saw them or something. Lois just reported back. Are they like oh, so far away true. away on the perimeter? We're at the car. Bruce and I are at the car. Um you said Yeah, they're at the car. We're no, they the the, the, the skeletons. Hair. How far away are they? They're they're far away from the perimeter of, of this factory. Um, let's say about a hundred feet off. Oh, they're far away. We'll fi we'll be fine. Okay, walk oh, into okay. the kitchen, and I'm like, okay, I assume one of you you're the NPC who's like, oh, like I would die here, so we need to, like protect you. <laughs> he says NPC with his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I legitimately say that shit. I have no idea what you're talking about, but sure. I mean, there are skeletons on the corner. Are you gonna leave with us or stay? Because if you're gonna stay, then we'll we'll have to we'll have to defend you because we're good people. But that, that's like a really bad thing to do. Things going. Okay, so this this is one of those situations. Yeah. Okay, guys, we need to fight these things. How many are there? Do you think sixteen? Uh, I think around I think around eight <laughs> or sixteen, about there. Oh. We can fight eight of them. I don't know if we can fight 16 of them. I, okay, we can fight 16 we'll of them. Be fine. I can definitely we'll flesh break at least like 16 of them. I, 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 I can angel up and do radiant damage. If anything, I can also lightning bolt now. Back to our conversation, you know? Yeah. That's getting interrupted by, you know, the whole group. Because <laughs> yeah, there are skeletons coming, bitches. We'll see them on. We'll see them when, when they get here. <laughs> They're visibly not walking in your direction. They are walking away from your direction. On cool. Uh, I'll. Can I send Lois to just hover over? I really like that we were all them. so prepped for combat, and then you were like, "Yeah, they're kind of just shuffling off into the distance." <laughs> <laughs> Does it seem uh, like they've noticed us? They're going about their day. Yes, they seem to have noticed you. Okay. Oh, they're not doing that means F is coming. Is it coming? Oh, or something oh, worse. Yeah. Something worse is definitely F coming. Do they look like do they look like they're going in a specific direction or they're just like here and meandering? Headed back for town. Oh, oh. we should probably go after them, right? You know they're that Attack there. on Titans episode where, where the Beast Titan makes a bunch of Titans and they cage the rest of the people? This is what's going on right now. So we actually might be fucked. Oh no. So like we need to okay, go. Like um, I'm going to kidnap wait, this we're, man. We're gonna go? How many hit points do you think he has? Hey, can someone cast sleep oh on him? Oh my god. You're I, gonna kidnap him. He's think... not gonna leave. We need to save his ass. Okay. Bruce, Bruiser. We can ask him. Bruiser. Are we gonna uh, leave? Get the rest and leave? Or should we just let them panic? DM, as this is happening, I'm sending what's it called Lois to just follow them just so that we don't lose track of them. Yeah. Okay. How far can we Lois? We should probably just head out as soon as. How far can Lois what? How far can Lois travel away from you? Um. Well, it has a flight of sixty feet, and it can go as far as it wants. But it's just a matter of what's it called. It can't communicate with me 
directly if it's more than a, like an x amount of distance i'll look at that yeah just let me know who says um, we should round up the others mm -hmm. but our conversation is over well you're filming like, as long as it's 100 feet from me i can speak with it to telepathically and also look through its eyes but it can go further from that oh it's way past that I... yeah so that means it can just go I'm a big fan of the bruiser wakes up all of the little war forged in the factory and it gives him a little rousing speech and then we have a war forged army on our side. Try it. Go. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. They, did, they don't have they don't have a program installed. We don't have the updated program. Oh, well, you reset them. What kind of programmer are you? We did reset them so that they don't have any of the malfunctions that they used to have, but the code base is still the same, so we cannot we cannot risk them malfunctioning again. Poppy's bruiser's code into them. That's what I was thinking, but I also didn't want to have to play like 16 characters. You don't have to play 16 <laughs> characters, they just based off of your paradigm. They're evolving separately, like separate neural networks, but they're still based off the original I code. don't think you quite understand. Zach, will you let me be a hive pub. mind? <laughs> That's not how it works, okay? So basically, advanced Warforged are essentially modular neural networks. Oh, which is basically how human this. minds work and also how we simulate human it's minds and neural network scenarios. This is Bruiser's code base. It is a neural no. network data that has been copy-pasted into each and every single one of these robots that have malfunction. What do you want? Oh. Okay, overlay, uh, then overlay um, bruisers updates as till now, because the training to the neural network should allow for a new paradigm to have been written out. I know. The weights and training biases just, should allow for a Your character has approach. no reason to know about this. <laughs> Fuck! I also don't Yusuf think that is going to start work. prepping the car. I, I just don't. Just by taking it out of the ground. Zach's, I don't know Zach's whole angle, but I have a feeling that that wouldn't work. Zach just doesn't want us to have a Warforged army, but also, like, that's how modular neural networks work, sad. because their weights and biases are directly incorporated inside of the neural networks themselves. Unfortunately, this is a uh, magic neural network. <laughs> Fuck you. Yes. <laughs> okay. right. I do know that that's how so learning works, and the reason that there's still a possibility of failure, and that's the possibility that he wants to avoid, because it's obviously... Um, cause other forms and Fair you will enough. have to figure out why but there is a reason and like, is there a strength check to see sense. if i can knock him out oh my. um you can just kill him You're no not. we're not killing him no, we're taking him with us because he doesn't want to come with us can 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 both bruisers try and grab him like bruiser goes back into the kitchen um kind of where everybody is in order to sort of round everybody up as he said um and he I'm kind of I'm, I'm staying by the car just waiting there because i know they're gonna come back here anyway so i'm staying okay. by the car um i think bruiser is going to say um does he address him as mr phillips he's gonna address him as mr phillips um mr phillips you have to come with me no, I'm not doing that ever again. You're going to die to a demon otherwise, dude. And then he's going to take your body and use it to do whatever the fuck he wants, like he already did to Captain Ramira. Is there any reason for me to live right now, Bruiser? I'm going to help you find her. It's been a year. I'm what going to... to help you find her. I slap him in the face, and then I grab his collar and start shaking him. And I tell him, I give this really rousing speech. It starts with the words. It starts with the words. <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> I can't keep a straight face while I say this shit. Drinking his charisma is just too high. Um, it starts with the words. 
get it together, man. Like, I know it must be hard, and I don't know this whole story, but there's always a reason to live. As long as you live, you're struggling to live. And as long as you're struggling to live, there's a will. Don't believe in yourself. <laughs> believe that I believe mm -hmm. in you, that believes in me, that believes in you. Because living is sometimes the only thing that we can do, and as we press forward bravely, we will find ways to live even better. Do I hear I this? I this man. Do I, do I, do I hear this on a front uh, roll for persuasion to convince him to live? He hates you even more right now. Can I, okay, can <laughs> someone just cast sleep on him? Can Okay, Ali, I think, is passed out at this point. Ali, cast sleep. Guys, we need to hurry. I'm getting away. Georgia, can you cast sleep on this man? Bro, I don't have sleep. Georgia doesn't have sleep. Okay, can you cast <laughs> a suggestion on this guy? What if... Yes. <laughs> okay, what done. are you suggesting? Uh, that he comes uh, with us and lives. Oh, it has that is not suggested. What is it? It says you suggest a course of activity limited to a sentence or two and magically oh, influence a creature you can see within range that can hear and understand you. Yeah. Creatures that can't. Come with us and attempt to live. The, the suggestion must be worded in such a manner as to make the course of action sound reasonable. Yeah. Come with us. <laughs> and the look. sentence just come with us for as long as there's a possibility of you finding whoever you are looking for as the reason to live, the possibility remains <laughs> that she is found. I right, wisdom saving. Did I just say that right? Uh, that's a three. Oh, nice. He fails. He's, He's coming, coming with us, us boys. Okay. At hey. this point, I'm sure that Yusufari kind of like removed the earth from the tires and like removed the lock and did just got hear, the copy key. Did you Did you hear the whole speech? Back then? No, not really. But oh, there was sweet. noises. We, we need to hurry. It was a terrible though. speech, but that's not the point. I yeah, can't believe I like, didn't even get to roll. Did you come up with the speech, or were you reading from like a movie script? I slammed a bunch of random shit together because that's what joke here is. You just slam a bunch of <laughs> random stuff you hear from random speeches. I it only sounded Joker. like one of those movie scripts. No, when, oh when yeah, hundred percent. Like when Josh was pitching Joker's character to me, he was like, he's going to be like straight up. He's going to give all those little rousing anime speeches, and I was like, how are you <laughs> going to pull that off? And the answer is, he, he just yeah, I have a lot of yes. copy pasted statements from different anime. That's just really <laughs> shitty rousing speeches. I'm not even joking right now. I didn't use it this time. It was like. 40% Saving Private Ryan and like 20% like Toy Story and then the other 40% was um, um, Teng and Tapa, but whatever. They use it. They use yeah. it. Yes. Do you, you want to just start the car? Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Well, we'd rather have the real key, but just, yeah. Um, oh, wait. Let's go, guys, wait, please. Wait. Let's go. Come on. So, we need to hurry. Like, They're getting away. Hans is like talking, talking, and he goes like, um, you don't understand. The, the robots want their own bodies and whatnot. It's that's 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 part of what their life is and something like that. And then George, uh, and then Ali just casts a gesture and then he <laughs> stops and moves over to the car. Hmm, that seems happens. like important facts that we maybe should have listened to. Yeah, continue with your facts because suggestion isn't technically charming. It's just making them do something and they think it's their own actions. Yeah, continue with your facts. Now you can yeah, talk with your walk, facts. You're fine. What, what, what was I talking about? Um, how, how the, the robots, robots want their own bodies. bodies. Right, so someone call it an extreme desire for life. Some a new AI. Uh, but I'm guessing we're also driving while this is happening, or if we're just yes. driving towards the demons. Yeah. Okay. Um, you go follow um, all of these um, demons that are going into the city uh, and they begin to split off into different parts of town. Wait, guys, we do need to go to the racing night for, you know, an evacuation. Well, that's, it's still the same night. We'll do that soon. Yeah, but just remembering. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, how long is this drive? Is this like the entire drive hour back or like what's happening? Um, it's the yeah, entire, entire hour drive back. Because okay. we're not, because we're only to... 100 feet away, so can't we interrupt them before they no, get they into the city? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's been, what now? 10 minutes real time, 15 minutes real time? Yeah. 
Because the they're walking and it's an hour drive back. Oh, true. Right. Okay. Um, well, then you'll be able to like intercept them about 30 minutes in, like still okay. in the middle of this um, basically country, country road. Okay. Country roads. That's exactly okay. what I was thinking. I knew it. <laughs> I knew someone was yes. gonna. Okay, if they're being ordered, that means they might not attack us if we attack them, so we should just let loose like a bunch of ranged attacks on them. That's fine with me. I, I, I rolled down the window to a hand thistle you cast Sacred Flame. I'm gonna yeah, just Sacred have Flames come good. back to me right now, just so that it doesn't get caught up in this. Okay. Lois, please, don't die. Make a dex roll. Give me a second while I load this I stuff. I died. Oh, my spells do more damage now. That's fun. <laughs> I might be useful. Wow. No, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, sorry, was it a dex roll? Yeah. Yeah. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to write all this down. Um, we have an eight. Oh nope, that's an eleven. Sacred flames. Nine. Uh, sacred flames only one thing. Unless oh. I'm doing, unless I'm doing it repeatedly, but yeah, because it's a cantrip. Oh, you're only hitting one person. I can hit it repeatedly with a cantrip. Yeah. Okay, you're just that's an eight. Well, then I'll just start loading on to them. So that's an eight. That's an eight. That's uh, an eight. You'll only be able to do one action this round. Yeah. Um, okay. That's an eight. That's a fail. You take 11 points of radiant damage. Got it. Okay. Uh, did you care you were doing something? I throw holy water onto another one. Wait, it's like or, big boy in the sky. Um, roll two d six. Is there a thingy magic? Can I see? Is there a diagram somewhere? Um, Zach, make oh, it. Wait, make it wait, how close are they to us? Like, can he throw that or no? Because well, I'm I, not. I can just eldritch blast from 120 feet away, but yeah, I just I, need to know where they are. I'm assuming if they're like 10, 15 minutes um, for, uh, ahead of us. And we're taking a car. We can easily catch up with them and just drive next to them. Yeah, we're caught up. I just need to know where everything is so I know mm -hmm. because holy water is area of effect. So. Mm. Okay. I'm also thinking my cantrips might not go as far. Well, there's some problem to battle here. Neat. Wait a second. Um. There is a lot of mosquitoes everywhere, and I do not want to get dengue. Put on us. You know, just, just I say go have. away. Say yes, go you away. can. I just say go away. Like I did and the demons here, right? The Why are there so many mosquitoes in there? Is there like a window open? Are you outside? No, it's just that there are lots of like crevices. I mean, there is a window. There is a window over here. Right behind him. That was. This is clutch. This is very clutch. Um, I knew I should have prepared something, but oh well. Are those? Are the, is that the board that we're looking at? Are those skeleton boyos the enemies? Yes. Okay. You are in a car. We are in a car. Right. Guys, be careful with the car, please. Just to keep that in mind. This is um, ours. You are granted half cover by whatever this car is. Plus two or five? Plus two. Um, let me share screen. Uh, did the one? Did the one I hit completely sure. die off? Sorry, what? Did the one I hit completely? So um, you, I don't remember you killing anything. No, like when I hit it, does it look like it's almost dead? Or more uh, dead? nope. He's still vibing. Okay. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh. 
Do we only get okay. one action, or do we get a bonus action and an action? Um, well, what? No, which is an action. They know you're here. Okay. There's no surprise around. Okay. It's a skill challenge. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay. In that case, yes. roll initiative. It's gonna be an informal battle, so it's a skills challenge. Okay. okay. So they're all just right there, right? Like they're just they are. I've been there. Okay. Okay. So I am going to throw a sonic grenade with a accompanying water bottle. Okay. Um, right in between, like where J three is, and if you draw a line between J two and J five, right between there. So Something it's going to hit. To audio. Yeah, your audio is. Yeah, it's been shaky. Um, is that a little better? I think I'm just no, lagging. We're so yeah, staticky. Right. Oh god, I don't know how to fix this. I think it's just a Wi-Fi issue. Um. Give me a second. Give me a second. Nope, nope, this is not the page I want you to see. <laughs> this is also not the page I want you whoa, to see. Whoa, whoa, Oh, wow. Do not read that. Kim, are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. You got uh, video, right? Yeah. Stop. I will destroy you. I will change all of those plans just because of that. Uh, it's no. even worse now. I'm getting my dice ready. Cause... Okay. Um, he sends yeah. a sonic grenade in between, so it hits J1, J2, J3, J6, and J5. Okay. This is 15 feet diameter. Boy. My keyboard is broken and I don't know why. Um, sorry, where? In, be in, um, in between, so it hits J1, J2. Oh, Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, that's so much better. Okay. Um, that's a 15 feet circle. So it um, only hits J1, J2, and J3. Oh, uh, diameter. Yeah. Okay, that's diameter. fine. Three of them is that's fine. I think so. I think I just read wrong. Oh no, that's a 15 feet radius. That's right. Oh yes, perfect. 30 feet diameter then. Nope, it's 25. Oh, there that's a big boy. It is, 30 feet is a big boy. Um, you can hit a lot more. You can hit everyone except J8. Nice, perfect. Um, roll a... 2d6 for me. Which one did I hit, sir? Uh, the J8. What is this 2d6 doing? Damage. Oh, okay, it was 12. I got a double 6. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Um, anyone else taking an action? And I, t I think I'm driving. Like, am I allowed? <laughs> You, Wait, Zach, why was it 2d6? Risk it. Two it, hands on the wheel, I think. We're gonna... We're just gonna drive for his action. Wait, Zach, why was it 2d6? Because they're undead. Oh, I also have to make... Sorry. I also have to make a so, roll. Yeah. Um, con save for all of them. Um, this is a con save. That is good con. Um, that's a 20, a natural one. Uh, the damage is 11, so you can just cross apply that. Okay. The save is 14. Yeah. Um, uh, nope, that's not right. That's not right. This is right. Okay. Um, basically, J2, J4, and J5 uh, feel that same. Okay. 
Bruiser, would you like to risk taking the extra? No. Okay. He keeps driving. Ellie likes to take an action. If she can fit through the crowd and one to the window. She can also sleep, but I don't know how much health these people have. Uh, oh, wait, she no, can, she can't sleep. She doesn't have sleep. She can cast Shatter. Let's wait. Let's save our spell slots because we have a lot of items. I can lean over and, like, throw a fireball just as a cantrip for kicks. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm on the far side of the car, right? So I might have to get the people sitting next to me to kind of lean back a little, and then I am going to just hurl it at the closest skeleton. Okay. So I guess eight, yeah. And uh-huh. it is a 19 to hit. Oh, that hits. And it deals eight damage. Gotcha. Okay. Um, what does that Ellie do? Does Ellie have cantrips? Yeah, sorry, I was eating. She does. Uh, she has vicious mockery. Um, I was muted. Oh no. Um, um, I think she. I think she. Vicious mockery, and you just go, you skeletons. <laughs> you got no flesh, <laughs> fucking losers. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the best at vicious mockery. I'm thinking of like good ones, like. Okay. Um, I guess as she's thinking, Yusuf is just gonna peer out the window and shoot a lightning bolt down for J3, J6, J7, and J8. Okay. So, make a dex saving throw, please. That so is... 15. Um, 15 J6, J5, 6, 7, and 8, is that right? Eight seven six three. Eight twenty-five. Seven, six, three. Okay. Um what's the save? Hmm? Uh f- save DC fifteen deck save. Okay. Um everyone except three fails. Okay. Then they take twenty-eight lightning damage or half if they succeed. Gotcha. Okay. Man, we are frying these skeletons. Um, J8 is fried and gone. Okay. Bye-bye. Um, where's that? So we can't get rid of them. Was it 28? 28, yes. Um, J7 is bruised and so is 6. You know, Ali would like to sharp insult at J7 and say... If you look in the mirror, because even, even an imp looks better than you. Ah. <laughs> okay. This an imp has flesh. Uh, make, a, make a wisdom save. Uh, give me a second. One, two, three. Oh, um, who? Sorry, who are the two people? I'm going to disregard the first one, but... For the two people, the first one? Me? No, no, give me a second. Yusuf, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. No. <laughs> oh, no. A saving throw, right? Uh-huh. That's a seven. Uh-huh. Great. Uh-huh. Um, that's... Eight points of damage as this black arcane energy travels back along the um, path of the the lightning bolt that you just cast it. Ellie. Okay. Guys, watch the... out. They deal damage. Um, with some, with some saving throw. Did you look like the mirror today? Because even the inputs are better than Uh huh. Uh, roll for. Roll for wisdom. You're a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom, You're sorry. Wisdom saving throw. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Uh, wisdom, a natural one. Well, he takes four points of psychic damage and has his advantage on attacks. Great. Okay. This boy on, is. Disadvantage on its next attack. Is bleeding through its eyes and nose and whatnot. 
Um, He's crying. Yeah. They're... Interesting. I am now rolling 7,100. Oh, no. Is this to so... see if they multiply? Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. God damn it. Dude, if I was level 4 paladin right now, holy shit, this would be so much easier. Okay, I need to save can my soul points a, now. Can we just make a blockade in front of the path and get out of the How? Path? I mean, they'll just walk around the car. Yeah. Too. Um, yeah, they say hello to J4... Point two. <laughs> J For some reason, I five. thought that they were flying. I don't uh, like. I realized that that was a big mistake on my part. They're skeletons. Yeah, I just realized that. And J six point two. Fun. Um, okay. And that's all of their turns. Oh wait, is there supposed to be another J six? Because you kind of just three names. Oh, it's my bad. Thank you. You shouldn't have told is me. Is that, that all of their turns, Zach? That is all of their turns, yes. Okay. Oh, they will move away, though. Damn it! We're in the car, too, though. We're also moving. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we catch up. Out. I think we catch up. It depends how they're spreading out. Oh, yeah. And they're still moving towards the city, right? Um, some of them are scattering into the forest. Some of them are moving into the city. Um... Bruiser, you might want to call this in. Oh. oh. Can he? I could also just call, actually. Wait. Wait, Zach. Which ones are going towards the city? And which is going away? Like, um, what if... I feel like if Bruiser calls in, they're going to be like, ah, you are a Warforged. We're not going to trust you. Ah, uh, fair. Um, the city is this way. Okay. And the road directly goes like straight from the straight. Um, straight towards the What if we hit one of them? Yeah, what if we Good. just like drive I, over I, them? I can hit one and deal radiant damage. I don't think it'd be too much da like damage though if it's just a car. Getting hit by a car? It's an undead. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But crush up their little stupid bones and just. <laughs> I mean, last time the reason I seen this, it was at the heart of the star, and they don't seem much hurt by Bruiser's axe. Um, as Yusuf's action, he's going to send a message to the race united, um, via text because he has that, uh, and he's just gonna message like, um, are these skeletons? Wait. Are they skeletons, or yes. what do we call them? They're skeleton no, they're, looking things? They're not. Okay. But they're, we look, we, they look like skeleton demon things. They're rotting demons, yes. Okay. yes. Uh, rotting demon them as skeleton skeletons. looking things are heading Angel. towards the city um, at X amount of time away. I'm just going to put that in, because I'm guessing Yusuf would kind of know where we are. Um, okay. Um, they can multiply, watch out. They don't seem to be too much of a threat, but attacking them also, or killing them, seems to also damage you. Watch out. Um, Zach, uh, yeah. do I see, uh, when I look at like J5 and J5.2 or 4 and 4.2, do they, mm -hmm. do the two of them look weaker than they were when they were originally one, or do they look equally as strong? They've literally given birth, so this um, creature that's like in their chest, like bursts out from their chest, grows into a full, fully fledged um, I see. creature. Um, but yeah. What's people doing? I could wing up and start flying. That's what this is. Should we just head to the city and just brace, or should we keep trying to go after them? I, I think, have... okay, so the problem is that they keep multiplying. Yeah, and I think, like, as if we head to the city first, we can kind of like go for them. Will it be a big swarm by then? Zach, okay, from what we've seen, the ones that have half multiplied, does it look like they're regenerating the multiplication chamber? 
Nope. Um, the newly formed ones don't have them either. Uh, so it, once they multiply, they can't multiply more. I mean, from what I'm assuming, once they multiply, they can't multiply even more. We don't I know see. that. Because also, remember, you only saw four before, but now there's Big Boy 8. <laughs> But then they just multiplied again. It's an assumption that size me up. The issue is that their movement speed is as much as ours is. Yeah. Bruiser, drag. Bruiser says, affirmative, because that's the only thing he fucking says. (laughs) Uh, where, uh, where are you driving to? (sighs) You know, the the near, the nearest Denny's. The city, of course. Yeah. I, I, there's really, I think it's kind of maybe going to be, a, if we can get there before them, then we can kind of be a last bastion sort of deal. Or we can, uh, yeah, we can be the last bastion and wait for reinforcements and messages. Because I don't right. think we have the spell power mm-hmm. to get rid of them. Yeah, I don't think just us can get rid of them right here. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. Why are we counting down? What's Why are we counting? Okay, so we're I guess we're just dodging. Down. Oh, no, that's... we're all driving down. Okay. <laughs> I really like the way that you've just selected all of our characters and moved them all collectively together across the little screen. That's very good. Wait, <laughs> is that how far we can get in a car? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 40 feet. Do you want to floor it and oh. dash uh, the yeah. car? We're just flooring to the city. We're going. Um, but while Bruiser that's happening, we can still limit. launch attacks. Yeah, just, um, yeah, just decide quick. So I, I'm getting, I'm guessing like one Eldritch Blast and two Fireballs bolts. Um, I can do a Sacred Flame. Okay. Okay. Um, who are you attacking? Um, the nearest one to side would be. I would just go with Jade too. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go with J1, I guess, because I can shoot farther. Um, J2 first. Uh, Hakim, was that a fireball? I can't do, I can't do fire, I don't need to fire. It's a... Uh, Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. Um, roll for hit. Dex, saving throw. Ah, fuck you. I don't memorize these! I don't memorize them, Zach. Uh, 14. Uh, that makes it, so you can take it. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, who's next? Here. Joker. Um, okay. In that case, to hit is... One day 20. Um, 14 plus, I think it's 7, which is 21. Does that hit? To who? Uh, to J1. Where is this? Is J1 at the top? No, it's at the top left. Oh, using an Eldritch Blast, yes. Okay, uh, that hits. Okay, um, that deals d10 damage 10 force damage. Okay. Um, um, and do you want to throw a firebolt? Yeah. Um, I'll aim it at the same guy. So. Okay. Uh, Wait, to... that's a 17 to hit. That hits. And then that is... Four damage. Got it. Uh, what type of damage? Um, that is. Higher. Yeah, that is. Got it. Okay. We love swarm combat. So uh, exciting. I wasn't prepared to make a swarm combat, so they're not actually <laughs> putting groups. But just imagine they're groups. Uh, <laughs> uh Yusuf. Oh, the uh, action was Allie? to call, remember? Allie. Yeah. I think message. It's just mockery. <laughs> um, you know what, yeah. Let's do that. I'll, do, I'll throw on J1. Okay. What you gonna say? 
Even a snail moves faster than you. Bone boy. 17. Oh, you save. He does not care about how fast he moves. He obviously is out running this car. Uh, <laughs> the skeleton just goes, fuck you. <laughs> just hit him. Just fucking hit him with a fucking car. Bruiser. You don't want to dent the car, guys. The car does 3 to 6 Bludgeoning damage. Uh, okay, these guys are gonna floor as well. Uh, that one's gone. What's the car's movement speed? Um, it says feet. about yeah, forty to fifty feet. I don't remember exactly like how much it moved. You mentioned forty before. Um. Everyone who's been dashing to the forest, I think, is like out of range by now. Mm -hmm. um, these two are just gonna go for it. Um, Bruiser, who is driving, they're gonna slash through the window. Oh no, not the window, like guys! That. And I'm then a take fan. a bite attack at you. Oh. A, a what attack? A bite attack. No. They, they bite break the window. Attack. They are going to break the window and then bite the robot. Okay. Yes, they will. Not are you sure you want to do that, Zach? Sorry? Are you sure you want to do that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why am okay. I rolling a d really? Would you like to roll? Uh, that is a 12, which does not hit. Does not hit. For once, it doesn't hit. Um, oh, no. And then this uh, J5 does the same. Uh... Brews are still the closest. I would, uh, that is I would argue 18. that. I take my reaction against J5, which is in range of my melee weapon. For what? Uh, okay. Wait, does, for what? Sentinel? or? Uh, no, it's just he's attacking while in range. That's Sentinel. Oh, shit, yeah. you're right. And he already had fuck. Never mind. Uh, Zygon can probably. Who's in but it's. I don't think he's in range because he's already. Back I'm there. right. Yeah. I'm sitting. I'm. I'm. Aren't I sitting in front. Of, oh no. Two. Two no. Uh yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh yeah. Zygon is like second to furthest away from them. Um. Anyways. No one gave me an order. Uh, there's a seven. Um, missed. To hit? No, seven slashing damage. Oh. Oh. Roll was what, was to, what was it to hit? 18. 18. Okay. And that's Ergo. Um, this car now has no front window or side window. Bruh, the windows? No. Lord. Not the windows. How wide is this car, by the way? I like, don't know car measurements. It, 12 okay, never feet? Mind. Uh, 12 feet wide? Actually, I'm just gonna with minor conjuration a window in the side window area pane. Just kind of like a Wait, board, just window. What's. Bruiser, what's your AC? Uh, 13. Oh, okay, never mind. The, yeah, no yeah. half cover thing. You said, yeah, you I'll said, just kind of you, cover you the says, side. Am I able to reach the window? Like a built in window? If you want to you mend able? it, it's, it can only mend one little, like, one tear thing. So it has to take a while. And I don't know if you can see through my stuff, because what's it called? It's a matter of, like, it glows too, so it might be distracted driving, so Yusuf doesn't want to do that. <laughs> but you're the one who said he's doing that. No, I mean, it's not the front window, it's the side window. Like, the one where there's another demon right there. Yeah, you still have to cross him, though. They're right in front. Wait, you, still you, have to cross, you have to cross over t in front of him to put the window up. Unless you're going I, back. I can, no, minor conjuration just can happen in my area. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be one last round of combat. Mm -hmm. uh, what's everyone doing? Okay, I'm going to throw a guiding ball. Like, see the Let's. At yeah. Okay. You should guiding bolts D5. It'll take extra damage for my next hit or J5. I'm hitting J5. This is too. Oh, this is too 
Um, 18. I'm doing I imagine that. we're like rolling down the window just to like cast something and then just rolling it back up or opening <laughs> doors. <laughs> my, like window, little... <laughs> my window has been open up this whole time. Oh. Um, 18, uh, that's it. That hit. Okay, take 46 freaking damage. A 9, 11, 11, 13, 13 plus nothing. So you take 13 points of taking damage. Um, I need all six of you to roll constitution save. Hmm. As a team of black arcane in the Jeep fails this car. Um, Constitution plus two. 21. 24. 15. I got a 18. Ali got a national 20 plus 2. Just a sec, let me see. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got a 15. Got it. Um, that is four points of damage to everyone. All of you save. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, well, I mean, not really, but you know, yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what type of damage? What type of damage? Necrotic. I take okay. half. Okay. So, yeah, I also take half. Um, I'm going Angels. to. Is that one dead yet? That one's dead, right? If you took. No, it is not. Okay. No. Uh, in that case, I'm going to attack it with my scythe. Okay. Um, so to hit <coughs> is 15 plus 7, 22. That hits. Um, okay. Oh, and as a bonus action beforehand, I, ca I, I used my Hexblade Hex. Hexblade Hex saving magic. Okay. Uh, so it Hexblade does do 12 Hex. damage first. So it does 12 full slashing damage, plus another okay. 5 necrotic damage, plus another 2d8 radiant damage, which is 9 damage. Okay. Um, sorry, what, how much was the slashing? Slashing is 12, Necrotic okay, is 5, Radium is eight, 9. Um, necrotic is 5, nine, nine, nine. Radium okay. is um, I will need all of these to make another constitution save as it releases its last blast of arcade <laughs> energy into this car as it dies. Oh, wait a second, it's plus another 3. There's another 3 slashing damage too, but that's halved. You're good, it's dead. I forgot that <laughs> melee weapons add yeah. string or Oh, um, plus another five, actually. It's plus five. So he's already dead, but yeah. He's already dead. Okay. Why are you yeah. adding more damage? Okay. Just making sure. I don't, I don't remember this. Um, I got an 18. 18 as well. 18 as 25. well. Ali got 17. 16. Okay. Time to take four damage. Oh. And that is six damage. Uh, oh, six eight. damage, bro. Half, that's it's three, three four. four. It's Karen dead, himself. right? It yes, died. Yes. In which case, so I took three, but I gained back one plus five, six hit points. So I'm up three. Okay. Wait, so it only did six damage? Yes. Total? So then we have yes. it? No, Jokir and myself only have it because we're as much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yikes! Um, I switched the curse target to J one. J one is J one in our reach? Yeah. Well, we're gonna be going forward. Yeah, we're gonna be going forward. Can you switch your can bruiser. Can bruiser? <laughs> can bruiser hit some somebody with the car? Sure. Yeah, that's what I've been hey, saying. Can do no J1 one's been listening to me. <laughs> yeah. You'll just, you'll just hear If Yusef. he dies, I gain another six hit points back. So you'll you just, really hear, you'll just hear Yusef, you know, complain that there's a death in the ah, car. The car! Yeah. <laughs> Bruiser's gonna... gonna hit someone with the car. Okay. You'll just One hear of them. I'm just gonna roll for a deck save and see just how much you can avoid that. That's a five. Should I roll Never for, mind. should I roll car? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I rolled a deck save. It did not do well. Um, roll 2d6. Oh, Damn. Roll 2d6, 
I will let I will I will let to hit with car. <laughs> I would like okay. to hit with car. Um, As you move forward, it um you roll over its like arms and rib cages, which apparently does not need to function. Um, do we get to hear a crunch? <laughs> you do hear very much like yeah. Crunch. Give us a little give us a little ASMR crunch. And crunch. That's more monster sound effects dying, but you know. No, no, no. give us a little ASMR crunch. <laughs> How much damage did it take from that? Six. <laughs> oh. Just a oh. little crunch. A little. I feel it's like little if crunch. I'm not hit by a car, I would take more than six damage, but. But that's if you were hit by a car. I true. rolled a d6, and I rolled I rolled two d6, and I got two threes, so that's where we're at. Okay. Uh, what's everyone else doing? Um, can I? Uh, let me see. Can I reach J1? Can you reach J1? I don't think so. I don't think so. Never mind. No, no. no. I mean, you can You're... save it. It's going to attack on its next turn, so you can just save it until it comes into touch reach. Yeah. I'm gonna cast a what's it called? Chill touch on it. So then, and it's undead, right? It's not dead. Oh no! I mean undead. No, like undead. It is not undead. Is it... Oh, it's okay. not undead? Okay. Um, let's see. What is 12 plus 7 to hit? 19. Does that hit? Yeah, 19. Okay, and then it gets 2d8 on the crowd damage. Um, which is two ones. <laughs> so two the crowd damage. Okay. Great. Um, and for those two points of damage, I need all of you to roll constitution. <laughs> Bro, okay, wait. How is that talk? How are you I'm talk? I'm a fan of this. I don't uh, like this either. Oh, no. Oh, 14. Dirty 20. Plus what? 15. Seven. Um, 18 for both Zygon and Ali. Um, wait. For anyone who got 13 or lower, uh, which I think is just Bruiser. That is 11 points of damage. For anyone else, it's five. Okay. Bakers. Um, can Ali reach up and give Bruiser a pat on the shoulder? I think I think um, Bruiser's gonna take a bonus action. He hasn't even taken an action on doing like real combat, but he's gonna use his little second wind now. Um, oh no! I was I, I was about to heal you. Oh, you were? I thought it was reassuring, like, pat pat. <laughs> <laughs> Ali's gonna get a pat yeah. pat on the shoulder and cast Cure Wounds. Okay. You take, oh, you take eight points of healing. Okay, that's cool. I'm at gotta half. Gotta keep the driver so. safe. Gotta keep the driver safe. No get up to your driver's own conscience. Mm-hmm. Ah, I keep saying conscience instead of conscious. <laughs> I've had so many problems in the past few days. Okay. I'm, and then um, I'm, I'm going to throw a guiding bolt at J1. Okay. Oh no. Oh god. Every time we deal damage, guys. Yeah, can I? Are, am, <laughs> we'll be fine. It's we'll fine. Be fine. I'll keep fine. healing. Y'all can keep taking damage. Okay, thank but you. I'll keep healing through it. I'm at nine hit points. Myself. We'll be, I'll keep we'll healing fine. myself, you losers. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> We're gods. As you take a 25 to hit. That hits, yeah. Whenever one of them dies, so. 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage. Radiant damage, it, by the way. Not enough, actually. Almost. Oh, um, no. Die, to the ground, you motherfucker! Releases another blast of dark arcade energy in your I'm place. I'm gonna die by the next one, by the way. Constitution saves. Please. <laughs> I'm gonna die by this one, guys. 21. Um, well, they should have Six. used that, that healing on somebody who couldn't heal themselves. Really? Really the ones in the car is myself, Jakir, and Ali. 19. Um, Zygon, 15. Zygon got 19 and Ali got 20. Uh, no, Ali got na- 32 and 15. Okay. Okay, guess I'll, guess I'll move to the front then and get Yusef. That is 6 points of damage. Can I reach uh, it? For everyone? 
Uh, oh, no. That failed. 12 for you. 12, yeah, okay. I'm unconscious. Oh, God. And I believe my monitor, minor conjuration also disappears? Actually, no, it doesn't. Wow. No, it stays there. Until it's it's almost, it stays uh, there, yeah. Andy? Can I reach him now? Okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to cast Shocking Grasp on him, and let's see. Let go of the car. Electrocutes. It is a 17 and to, to hit, and let me see what the... God, I gotta make this window bigger. Does that hit? 17 does hit. And then... Give me my death fail. It is, it is one death fail. damage. Sorry. And it can't take reactions till the start of its next turn. Okay. Is it dead yet? And it's lightning damage. Sorry, how much total was that? Eight lightning damage. Is it dead yet? Yes, it is. Finally, I've healed for another six points. Whatever the next damage is, what's the damage? I can I. I failed that one, but oh, I got it. Or is the damage a reaction and it doesn't get to do yeah, it? Yeah, does not get to do it now, hopefully. The damage? It still takes that. Uh, all of oh, you okay. still do that. Ah. Oh. Um, I, I failed. 17. Uh, Ali got 17. Okay. Nine. Okay. Uh. <laughs> That was, as long as the driver's up, then we're fine. We don't know that. <laughs> well, we'll see. How much damage does the fail? Give me the damage, buddy. Oh, that's very lucky. That is two ones. Oh. oh. So I only um, take one. How much root? fail takes two? Two to everyone who failed, uh, one to everyone else, which I oh, guess is like zero. zero damage then. Bro, I only well. took one damage. Let's go. Okay, Wait, I healed uh, back up to full. Can someone Let's... heal me, please, so I can learn to drive? Okay, 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 you said calm down there. And I, just... I can't re- I can't retaliate, because I'm unconscious. Um, let me heal, because I can restore my spell slots on our flush break. Um, what? this guy's just leaving, I think. Are you, are you gonna heal Yusuf, or can I move? Yes, I'll can heal. I... Okay. Are you healing? Um, your wounds. Just You're cast currently... that on yourself and see how much health that is. I, I don't want to roll anymore. <laughs> what's your my my modifier is plus five though. What what's your level? What level? What's the level? And what does the spell uh, first do? First level. At which level? First level. level uh, can you, can you, you just roll that for me, please. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh wow! Thank you. Oh guys. Uh, oh, and then oh, Ali, no. Ali's gonna give Bruiser another cure. So? Bruiser's like, okay. <laughs> I'm at 18 out of 40. Oh. Um, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you back half some. I think, no, 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 I think he's just gonna use, I think, I think he's just gonna use second win. I regain a d10 plus three, so. Save the spell slots. That. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, so I just got back 11 hit points. So don't okay. worry about so... him, he's doing just fine. Okay. It's fine, the next um... battle y'all can just do ranged shit. Mm-hmm. As there's this whole character is just... Are we as heading all the way back there's... down to the city, right? Yeah. Yes. Give me a second. As the rest of these I mean you could just decide that without me telling you stuff, but that's fine. As you head back into town, um, you know this um a giant winged figure um oh, no. which you would recognize as F. Oh. Um heading in the direction to the right. Um okay. From where you were currently at, but I guess you're driving back to town. Wait, oh, wait, 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 okay. We should go if we that. notice, then we should follow him surreptitiously. Uh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. But we, like, we have to. We have to know what's happening. We have to know. Uh, we have, we I'll have report. To. Should I report this just so then they can also prepare? You like, should report this. Okay. Report also, this. what time is it? It is now nine o'clock. Okay, I'm just considering for our evacuation to for the city. Oh, sorry, you were driving but, back, so we're at 10 now. Okay. Um, so we're following uh, F. I'll like, text over to the Race United. Um, 
big boy demon has been sighted coming up from the one that came out of the portal. Uh, what where was he headed? To the right. To like the rights into the forest area. Um, I'll just send wherever like road we are from yeah. at right now. Um, yeah. And yeah, well, we're pursuing him. Cool. And that's where we're going to end today's session. Oh. And so continues their story of chaos as these unlikely heroes unfold the mysteries that hide in the world of our past. Thank you for listening to this session of Outpass First Ascension. Keep a look out for our next sessions on the Night Chaos channel where we release episodes every Saturday. Disclaimer, we do not own the music. All music and sound effects are owned by Michael Gelfi. If you like his music, please check out his YouTube channel and Patreon in the description and comments below. Thanks Michael for letting us use your music.